Good evening, people. Can I say? I'm sure that don't look straight. I think it looks like last night. It's a little bit wonky. It's yeah. peed, isn't it? I don't know why. Anyway, location. As you've seen from the thumbnail, I know we always introduce um, ourselves and the beer, but obviously you see the thumbnail and the title. So you know what's coming in or how do I? Don't know. It's worse than sniffing a beer. It's hard. To, I don't know. Do excuse the computer in the background. You've got double PJT here because. You might be lucky. Um, Wow, I'm having a couple of issues with my computer, which is going live in about half an hour, and Simo Sucks has already knackered his review. He's on the live <laughs> with us. Unfortunately, Simo done that mad blue drink everyone's doing, and I previewed the video for him for my expertise, and unfortunately, it's a mad one. So, um, yeah, not good. Anyway, um, yeah, vocation, hop, skip, and juice. 5.7% ABV, and it's a hazy pale ale. I don't know, yeah. yeah I think, I don't know. Can't remember. Um, obviously, we know from the original release date, and it's great to go back over yeah. something. This was a cake that really set some. It was a standout cake. Yeah. It really did have some special um, flavours and qualities to it, so it's well, going to be good to try. Well, again. we couldn't believe it because it was one of your favourite cans. And, it, and uh, no, people say, oh, there's not a lot of difference. There is. Put them side by side, you know. There's a reason. When you put them side by side, you can tell, yeah. But the can, take nothing away from the can. And funny enough, if we've got some of this left, but Michelle's on it tonight, so. Yeah. If we've got some of this left, we've got an old can mm. when Vocation were called something else that I found, wasn't it? Yeah, and I've got an old can, a new can, and if we've got some left of this, we might be able to mess about with it. And just to see, because it's about two years out of date, like that dodgy stuff you were drinking yesterday. Yeah, it's I can't. Fine. I can't believe it. I gave her this beer that I wanted to review and I looked at it and then I was like, oh, it went up in 2022. And I looked at one in the bin and I thought, I can't believe they've actually sat in the fridge for two and years. And they were perfectly fine. Yeah, no German upsets, beer. No, nothing wrong. No, no, what a shame, mate. <laughs> but we were going to review it and I just thought, oh, I can't be bothered with that one now, isn't it? And um, so it's only that the beer bottle, that one was on the bar here. And I looked at it after she'd gone in last night and I'm like, Jesus, <laughs> that shit, I laughed. Yeah. Of course I didn't. Anyway, I'm doing a pour. I haven't cheated like I do on the new cakes and had a little tipple. So it might be somewhat. Yeah, it might be a bit lively. It might be lively, it might not. It's As you like people that. saw on my fans kind of video. Oh no, they haven't seen the fans kind of video. Probably best they don't. Yeah, it's lively. Very lively. And I've got it turned as much as you possibly. I should have poured this out first before I started gabbling on to everyone. Yeah, okay. <laughs> wow. Okay, okay. Okay. The glass that I just cleaned, but. And it's you know great. I just cleaned it because it was on the draining board. Right. There we go. <laughs> we have a exclusive four and a half finger head here. Um. I say I don't know what that with the glass because it was just totally clean, clean, wasn't it? It just actually came out from the draining board, as you can see. Look at that! Look at the camera's not actually doing it justice. It really is a lovely golden colour with the slight haze to it. Lovely haziness, isn't it? Mm. And a nice thick, I must say, <laughs> thick, huge head. Yeah. You know what can we say? Um, that doesn't look like it's settling anytime soon, does it? it? it it does actually, I think we might just have to um, play off through this. Well, they say, you know, when you're smelling a beer... It's the aroma you get from um, the foamy frothy If you don't get it all up your nose. Yeah. Got it. I'll let you go first. Okay. Wow. Yeah. That is a really, really good aroma. You've got tropical fruits coming through there. Some yeah. citrusy smells. Um, Pineapple. And Pineapple. Maybe. You're really, really getting that hoppy smell to it as well. Yeah, maybe it's pineapple in it. <laughs> I think there might be. Hey, <laughs> I think there might be pineapple. Pondering around and we're all over it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'll go first. I, I, I think, I think this can, oh, it is pineapple, isn't it? Yeah. Then again, I'll get in. I'm similar to about me saying about pepperoni in the pizza. It did smell like pepperoni. It did. That's why I didn't say it. I wanted you to say it. Yeah. Because I thought I was imagining it. He thinks I made case because it weren't nothing to do with pizza to do. It was just a pizza company. Yeah. But it did smell like pepperoni. Yeah, yeah for me. That's a win, win, win. Yeah. I did like this. I find um, with a 5.7, you've got to be, shh, try to please. <laughs> you've got to be careful. You've got to be careful <laughs> because it flows down, doesn't it? Oh, mm. I forgot to have a sip, didn't I? Mmm. Okay. Mmm. 
an array of fruits, a lovely creaminess. Mm. You do get a little bit of hoppiness on the back end, don't you? which obviously you're meant to, I, I get that. Um, yeah, the feeling of this drink in your mouth is really creamy and smooth and silky. And I think that comes from, um, they use oats or something in there, and I think that's what's giving it this mouthfeel. It really does have a lovely texture to it. You're getting a burst of fruit, and yes, one of them is pineapple that I'm tasting. Definitely. Grapefruit, pineapple, mango. Yeah, there's grapefruit in there, there's some stone fruit kind of um, yeah, flavours in there as well. But you're right, the hoppiness on this isn't bang in your face. It is really nice and balanced with those fruits. Yeah, it does. It works. I, I, as I say, I, I wasn't sure when we used to get the cans from vacation, didn't we? All the different mm, ones. Yeah. I didn't really try them because it was more your thing than mine, wasn't it? Then obviously life and death came onto the perfect draft. Yeah. Well, we knew that from the cans. That I drank that keg. <laughs> yeah. She had the salt. <laughs> you got into that one. <laughs> oh, yeah, and look at me the next day. Yeah. It did a number on him. <laughs> it did a number on me. And um, But this one, we were both drinking, weren't we? And then yeah. you took over and I switched to, I don't know, Frankie or something, but... It was really hard to, to drink a wheat beer after oh, drinking this. Mm. But yeah, yeah, yeah th this yeah. is the sort of stuff why we've got our machines, you know. Mm. We're running that at five, aren't we? Mm. You I can believe go, that's a good temperature for this. Yeah, you can go higher, lower. I mean, loads of people say with the temperature, you lose this or you get that, you've got to have it. It's your own personal preference. Yeah. Yeah, There's I no right that. or wrong. It's like we're quite blonde. I loved that at, at six degrees, but I could drop it to one and it's like a totally different, different drink, drink and it was yeah. absolutely lovely. You were still getting plenty of flavour. You could go in at that. And you know, if you're running on a normal perfect draft, it wouldn't be It would be perfectly fine at, at three. three yes. Yeah. Yeah. At three, yeah, if you were to go lower it's you know you could go higher, you know, you could go seven, eight, nine yeah. if you really wanted. Yeah, you know, I don't know what they actually recommend serving it at, but for me, Five, six degrees is just what I I don't trust anything they put on that Perfect Draft <laughs> website. I don't know who's doing it all the time. I reckon he's on it. Why is, why is updating it? Isn't it? But yeah, this is always going to be a yes, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, this... Um, yeah, it's, it's a real winner for me. A really, really good good drink. And the 5.7 again. Oh, yeah, you don't... You don't, you don't know that's flows. in there. You've got to be really careful. I mean, I'm on Bex... Or um, bar, 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 bud, which I'm not. Mm -hmm. There's going to be a review coming of that. I don't know, you might see the bud review for this one. We're in such a mixed match with them, mm -hmm. aren't we? But um, obviously with um, this one, when you switch over, so I say, lucky I'm only having a bit of it, because it's really hard to go yeah, to another beer yeah, once you've you tried this. Yeah. bang into this, and then mm. you're just like, ooh. But yeah, it's a definite yes, you know. I don't know what we scored originally. I think you might have scored it 9 or 10. Yeah, I'm, I would still go along with that it's for me a fantastic beer yeah big solid eight for me i don't have a scorecard just imagine it's there <laughs> it's a it's a winner you know and there's not enough of this type of thing on the machine i get that why people why people complain but you've got remember with a company like ab and bev they're going to go with what sells the most you know? yeah it is unfortunate just think the more of it you buy the more chance you've got to get more that's it you know, move on, yep, drink and sailor, it's gone. That's, that's, that's how it is. They will sell what makes them the most money. Mm, snakes. <laughs> <laughs> right, what can I say? Thanks for watching. Um, do let us know your thoughts on the video. Yeah. I don't know, like, subscribe, dislike, unsubscribe. Bonjour. It's up to you. Bye. <laughs>